Hey guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. Today, real quick, just gonna show you how the gun for ir GUI works, all right? So when you get your gun for ir first thing you're gonna do is you wanna plug in your, your USB, all right? Then you're gonna hit the tech guns and then you'll, you should see this number pop up or player two to, if you have the second one, of course, all right? So you have to configure these uh, individually if you have two, you can't configure both at once for obvious reasons, okay? You would have to drop down and pick the second one, okay? First thing to do, screen and camera tab. Set your screen aspect ratio to what you what you have physically. Okay, not what you want, what you have. So if you have an ultra wide screen, you set it to 16, to, uh, sorry, 21 to nine or 16 to 10. If you have a regular wide screen, 16 to nine, and if you have a CRT or something like that for some odd reason, four to three, okay? Camera sensitivity, start at level one and work your way up if it's not bright enough. I, for the most part, the LEDs I send out are very bright, very effective. Going higher is actually going to make the the camera too sensitive, and it's going to pick up like all the all the reflections and all the little bits and stuff of that that bounce off anything that's white. So you don't need it. Trust me. Level one is fine. To fil let the filter do its work. Okay. Content aspect ratio. What this means is when you play games, is it going to be in four to three or full screen? All right. And one thirty three is four to three, as shown here. Okay. For the most part, all modern, uh, not modern, all old MAME games are four to three. So you can leave it in this mode, all right? Which means when you point your gun to the left and right, it's gonna, your mouse is gonna be offset, okay? Meaning when you point like here, your mouse is gonna be here. That's to compensate for MAME boxing you in to the four to three screen or, or any other emulator actually. All right, it's very important. Now, if you do a full screen game like Mad Bullets or, uh, or blue estate, then you want the whole screen to register, of course. All right, and that's when you do full screen. After you change this, you must upload your settings, otherwise it's not gonna take effect, okay? So most part, I just leave it at four to three, okay? It's also worth noting that another thing you could do is you can play MAME full screen. You can just uh, remove the perfect scaling and just stretch the image and it will work perfectly. It just won't look great, okay? All right. Inputs output, this is self-explanatory. This lets you remap your trigger, A, B, pedal to whatever you want, okay? On the joke gun, the pedal is independent. Normally, the pedal is doing reload, which in this case is a, a. but if you wanna make it like shift or you can wanna make it something else, you can just change it over here to uh, use as extra pedal button. That's fine, but I like to have it at reload. Gun mode, leave at mouse keyboard because no one wants to use a joystick for a gun or a gun for a joystick. Off-screen reload, leave it as shot and corner. This is very important because most MAME games back then, they used a shot in the corner to register as a reload. If you're using games that use Demo Shooter, like House of the Dead, uh, then Demo Shooter does not register shot and corner. It requires you to press a button. So that means you have to press the A button for the most part, which uh, in most of my guns is gonna be the top left button on the aim tracks and the gun con, or the or the back button on the jolt, if you were lucky to get one of those, all right? Auto reload means that after five shots, it's gonna do a reload. I leave this disabled because that's kind of cheating, all right? That's, yeah, that's just half the fun of the game. All right, pedal reload, and that's it. Okay, these don't really apply to anyone else unless you have a gun con too, because then you won't have these buttons, honestly. Feedback, enable recoil. If you have a recoil gun, advanced timings, I always leave mine at 25 and 125. That's how long the solenoid holds and how many, how long before the, each pulse in uh, machine gun mode. So this is to prevent it from overheating because, you know, all solenoids can overheat, obviously, unless they're, you got an arcade original one, which has a very industrial solenoid in there. So, yeah. The rumble LED stuff, you, you can just leave these on or off. I don't put rumble or LEDs in mine, so it won't make a difference. Camera test is very important. This is where you're gonna see if your sensitivity is too high or low. All right, I have my gun plugged in. I'll show you what a good sensitivity should look like. All right, so I got four dots here. Nice and even, it's smooth, okay? I'm very close to my screen, and it's tracking perfectly, all right? Yeah, that's what we wanna see, a good size, all right? I'm gonna show you what happens if I put my sensitivity too high, all right, for the distance I'm at. So let's say I go to like sensitivity number four, upload the settings for it to take effect, camera test, now I'm gonna have a very big difference. Okay. 
Now my, my dots are starting, I'm starting to get the, that little parasite light. You see that little gray one? That means I'm starting to pick up reflections. And see, oh, now I'm not getting that perfect diamond anymore. Now it's picking up all kinds of uh, bouncing because my house has a lot of glass and a lot of uh, LEDs and white stuff. It only does, it does only pick up infrared, but anything in the infrared range plus reflections will make a difference. So why bother? Let's keep our life simple. Start at level one, maybe two at best. But I doubt most people are going to be needing it unless you're playing really far on a really big screen or something like that. Yeah. We want to see nice, smooth diamond, okay? All right. That, that's pretty much about it. It's fairly easy. All right. And uh, once you upload your settings once, then you're pretty much done. You don't have to do anything else and you can start playing again. All right, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to ask me, but uh, let me clarify, we do not actually um, do give instructionals on where to download games, on emulators, that's just for legal purposes, obviously, okay? If you have trouble with an emulator, you can text me, but honestly, like, it, it's the exact same configuration, no matter what gun you have, or even if you're using a mouse. Um, all games, I will tell you this, though, on, in emulators, they have their own internal calibration, okay? How the game interprets your position of gun or mouse is different from game to game. So if you have Model 2, you have to press the test screen. You have to go into gun calibration for every single game. It's, an, it's not optional, basically. All right, uh, MAME is a little bit easier. Demo Shooter will do the calibration for you, so Demo Shooter is ideal. And, um, yeah, Model 3 is another pain in the butt. But yeah, you can feel free to text me. I may or may not be able to get get to you, you know, because I'm mo mostly focused on building the damn things right now. Uh, but yeah, any guide that's online is applicable to Gun for IR. There's no difference. It's just a ma it's just a matter of which which mouse you use at this point. Okay. All right. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and shoot me a message if you have any questions. Cheers.